grab your coat and get your hat. Leave your worry on the doorstep. Just direct your feet to the sunny side of the street. Can't you hear a pit of pat? And that happy tune is your step. Life can be so sweet on the sunny, sunny, sunny side of the street. Hi. Welcome to another sunny side of the street. I'm your host, Todd Gross, clinical psychologist and director of Adam Street Associates in Newton. And our show for now 20 years has been looking at the side of human nature that you don't see a lot in the news. People who are doing positive things, people who try to help other people and organizations that do that. And one of the interesting things, if you think of the sunny side of the street as a metaphor, is that um, the street of the sunny side of the street is wide and it includes all kinds of people including young people who also make contributions to this world and we've done a few shows where people uh, who, of young years have made really some wonderful contributions helping people and this is going to be another show just like that and before we start and I tell you about the, the wonderful people we have here today uh, that illustrate that um, we're going to show you a little clip so you get a feel for an example of somebody who we're going to meet soon on the show here doing something wonderful herself so we'll, we'll be with you in a minute after the clip well, a local eight-year-old already trying to make the world a better place as she prepares to write her own book. Katrina Kincaid is here with more on this young entrepreneur hoping to make a difference, Katrina. Liam and Kate Isaac McFadden from Hyde Park told us that right now she's just having fun starting her pillow company that aims to inspire other children, but knows as she gets older, she'll understand the impact that this journey has had on her life. Book. Katrina Kincaid is here with more on what this you young entrepreneur hoping to make a difference, like Katrina. Like Liam and Kate oh, Isaac oh, McFadden in from Hyde Park business. told us that right now she's just having it's fun starting her pillow Probably company that aims to inspire like other Isis children but knows as she gets older she'll understand the impact that this like journey me. has had on her life. <laughs> Kids like me and kids. What were you doing at age eight? Of color, having like something and like just a kids whole, in general whole, to feel business and is, like where it's the art is. Probably not building a pillow empire, empire she like I just her first protest and told her parents she wanted to write a book about like her experience. Uh, she felt like royalty. The kids started like the me and kids little regalia and kids of color is doing something and just kids in general to feel welcomed and like where the art is where they're meant to be. At age five, she. Attended her first um, and protest said, no, and told her parents go. she wanted to write a book about her but experience. based on their doodles, she felt the like McFadden's would start the company that kids little regalia could have to believe in and like inspire themselves. Something that was Maybe gonna easier to see yourself in the middle of the show. I hope you have fun with the pillows. I hope you get to do a bunch of things with the pillows. And we said, you know, let's 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 go. The book is still being written, but based on their doodles, the McFadden's wanted to make something that kids could have to believe in and inspire the distribution center. The pillows are sold online. And in, in two Boston no bookstores, at I hope one, they they're fun almost sold the out. Makes me feel like I hope they get to do well, a bunch of things I did with the pillows. Really benefit it. But most importantly well, to me, people, I hope the more people can than just me. like see themselves in yeah. the pillows. Yeah. Their home is currently the distribution center. Out. The pillows are it's sold online, and in two Boston bookstores, at one, they're almost sold out. Makes me feel like now Isis told us that she always hoped to get her pillows in a store, but was still shocked when she saw them in more than words. People than just for the me. first time. Her next goal yeah. is to be able to sell enough that she can donate some to local communities. Exciting. Because you never know who needs it. You news. never know. I think it's one thing that we know is that it's bigger than us. Now, Isis told us that she always hoped to get her pillows in a store, but was still shocked when she saw them in More Than Words bookstore for the first time. Her next goal is to be able to sell enough that she can donate some to local community centers. Katrina Kincaid, WBZ News. Well, that was very inspiring right there and now I'd like you to meet the people that we were just showing you uh, on my left is Isis McFadden how are you doing Isis I'm good how are you I'm great and I'm glad you're here and we've got your dad yes and hello that's everyone. Joshua Joshua McFadden and will you introduce your little one there yes this is a Sato McFadden say hello Sato and hi how old are you I say hi three 
Three. Three. <laughs> and Morgan. Quiet Hi. Coyote. Hi. Thanks for having us. We love having you here. And I, I guess I, just to get us started, I'm going to ask your mom and dad to tell us a little bit about the family and, and a little bit about yourself so they know a little bit because there are people behind a young person that does something like this that are pretty wonderful too. So a little, let's start with you, Joshua. Just tell me a little about yourself. Yeah, no, Joshua McFadden, um, born in Baltimore, no, raised in Florida, do, been in, <laughs> in Boston for about 10 years. Started my uh, public service journey here in, um, in Boston as a community organizer. Community organizer, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And caring about the community, which this one does too. Yes, of already. Course, of course. Yeah, and Morgan, love to hear about you too. Yeah, so Morgan, Mc, uh, Morgan McFadden, Morgan McFadden now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I'm originally from Los Angeles, like Los Angeles, California, um, and we actually met in college um, in South Carolina in undergrad. Nice. We went to a HBCU called mm -hmm. Benedict College, yeah, yeah. Um, and after grad school, um, we ended up here in Boston and liked it enough to start our family and so here we are well we're glad you're here definitely yes. and um i guess i want to ask everybody but I'll start with isis about this a little bit about how the idea of the little regalia pillow company got started uh, what would you tell us about that? uh so uh so in 2020 too loud, sorry. in 2020 my dad took me to my first protest and during the protest, there are a lot of really mixed emotions. And some of those emotions were the emotions that the people who were killed, who they were doing the protest for, were killed because of their color. Mm -hmm. And then it was, it was really, it was a lot for me. And when we got home, we decided to write that, write all of it down in a book mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and uh this was a manuscript uh, i think yeah. we we're trying to get your thoughts down it was a lot for you i mean you were five at the time yeah that um, is a lot to have taken that in it is it is and it was so many people um marching it was from a uh, nubian square to the common uh-huh and so we went home wrote down her thoughts um about what she was experiencing and out of the um the manuscript and out of the book the illustrations were the pillows. And so instead of waiting for the book to come out, we wanted oh. to actually get something out um, to really inspire um, and help other, other children, you know, maybe may facing the same um, struggle and confusion about what's happening and what's going on. I see. Mm -hmm. How about the name Little Regalia? Where did that come from? I was curious about that. Oh, so the name, the name came from, uh, when you say Regalia, you kind of hear Regal. Yes. Regalia, and that's where we got the name from. I don't know where we got Little from. Yeah, I think originally it was a, it was uh, we were looking to also do kids' clothing, mm -hmm. um, so to, to to actually live and breathe in royalty. Yeah. Um, and I think at the time, um, she had many stuffed animals, many. Uh, plush pillows, but nothing that um, really empowered her. Yes. Um, she said, I want to do my own plush pillow line. And we said, okay, let's see how this could work. We haven't seen, you know, yes. um, seen it before on, on this level, and, and we made it happen. Um, so we just took the, uh, took the name. The name was able to um, easily be transferred into pillows as well, yes. and looking and seeing yourself in royalty. Um, so we kept the name. Kept the name. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. So in, in the future, hopefully, we're, we'll, it will be a clothing as well. Um, yes. So you can actually wear it um, as well as find comfort in the pillows, too. I, I also would like to ask all of you, starting with you a little bit, what did you hope would happen with mm -hmm. the pillow company? Mm -hmm. what, what, was the, what, was, what was your idea about how you'd affect kids? You talked about it a little on the clip, but I wanted to hear a little more from you about what you hoped would happen what, what, how it would be used and what good it could do for other people. I think for other people, for especially young kids. Yes. I think for other young ki people, I, I, the, I think it, Little Yelly is gonna impact them in a good way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's gonna, Little Yelly is gonna impact them in a way that's gonna leave them feeling <coughs> safe. <coughs> That's really, I'm feeling safe and have some sort of comfort. Because <coughs> really, at the end of the really day, that's what pillows are for. That's a good point. Mm. And the word safety is really important. 
You know, when that's one of the ways you feel better in the world if, if you can feel safe. Mm -hmm. And a pillow is kind of cuddly. I felt it. It was a little. We we have a couple of them over here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, they're actually very soft. <laughs> if you touch them, they're really nice and soft. Oh, this looks nice. Here's that. Mm -hmm. Very very nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you really wanted it to to give people something. That, I mean, was both of you and your dad mentioned this in the clip the, that they could identify with. And you could play guitar on it. <laughs> <laughs> but it does feel really smooth and, and soft, so that's really nice. Yeah. And what have you found has been the reaction from friends about oh. this? I'm curious, because uh, you, you go to, uh, this, tell, tell them the school you go to. Uh, so I go to BBN, BBNN, right. stands for Buckingham Brown and Nickel. Uh, I go to the BBNN lower school. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and at the lower school, I actually gave a presentation to my friends That's interesting, at, in my yeah. class. And I explained how, it, how Little Yoda came to be. I explained who I was. Uh, and, uh, how my friends really thought of it. I had a lot of questions. I had a lot of questions. What one, things did they ask you, honey? Uh, one question was where well, the pillow was being sold. Uh huh. And I said, only, I, only, I think only one place right now. I don't know. Uh, That's but cool. it's more than words. Mm -hmm. The bookstore, more yeah. than words, sure. Yes. Uh, Online too? Another question is, where do you make the pillows? Uh huh. I said China, because we make them in China, right? So, so that's where we procure them. We buy them in bulk. Mm. Uh, and uh, someone asked, uh, how do I buy the pillows? And that is probably that's probably a uh, a question I was wait I was waiting to hear that one. Mm. <laughs> yes. I don't hold very fast. Um, on your website. Yeah, on the website, literallyregalia.com. Oh, okay. Uh, search that in Google. So people who are up. interested in this, they could go to www.regalia.com? Literallyregalia.com. Mm -hmm. Little Regalia, yeah. right. Mm -hmm. The little is important. Yeah, important. <laughs> important. Yes. Okay, that, that's great. And I'm just curious as parents, too, <laughs> what were you hoping? I mean, you, you have a perspective of what it could do for other people. You also have a perspective of what it means for your daughter, too. Just some of your feelings about the values behind this. Because yeah. that's what I loved when, about this, hearing about this whole thing. Yeah, I mean, I think ISIS is just impressing us, like, by the day. Um, I don't think we really knew just how, I guess we're just really blessed and thankful to see how Little Regalia is manifesting. I think for us, it's really important that she be able to have something that she can call her own. I, I mean, for us, we've been in the workforce, of course. Our parents were in the workforce. And I think we're just now starting to really embrace this idea of like entrepreneurship. And so I think for her, exposing her to that at a young age for us means that hopefully in the future, she'll be able to rely on her own um, abilities to, you know, cr create whatever opportunity she wants for herself outside of just having to work a regular nine to five. And so I yes. think um, generational wealth is important to us. And so I think having these conversations early or early on about how to do that um, is really what I think we were trying to do with just sparking the idea of starting a business. But I don't think we really realized in having that conversation that it would turn into this. Yes. So I think we're really grateful that it's become more of a passion than just like a source of, of income. Um, and she's thriving in so many different ways. And so, yeah, we're excited to see where it goes. Yes. That's, I mean, what would you add, Joshua? Yeah, I, I think um, the term that comes to mind is just Ubuntu. Mm -hmm. And it's I am because we are. <laughs> mm -hmm. So no matter, I think, what mm -hmm. we do, we want to make sure that um, that foundation is really embedded like my wife was talking about in our daughter um, and I think watching her um, process her being in a sea of a th thousands of people um, coming back home and, and unpacking that with her 
we knew that other kids were either, if they weren't actually out there, they were watching it on TV. It was so much going on. Everybody was at home. Yes. Um, and so we wanted to do something, something, you know. And um, this was one of the things that we did, you know. So just giving back and, and helping to inspire, affirm, and empower. Um, yeah, that was the word I was going to go for. I, to me, it's very empowering. Um, and and you, you had a very funny thing that you said, Isis, on the, on the, about... Um, Starting a business. What was your word? Starting a business. It's uh, it's really you know you said something about it was really unusual or amazing or it's, it's life, life changing. changing. Life changing. That was your word. And you know what? You're right. Do you think it's changed your life a little bit already? Yeah, I think it impacts. I think it impacts. Uh, I think it helps with responsibility. Mm -hmm. Oh, really good point. And yeah. I think my leadership qualities have grown because that's something we're focusing on in school. I think my leadership qualities have grown. I'm still working on organizational qualities, but <laughs> I think I think as I'm doing this business, my organizational skills are going to grow. And I think the, this business is going to make my leadership qualities even stronger, the ones I have even stronger. Well said. <laughs> And I, 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 I think for, for any children that are watching this program, um, it's, it's, you're a real good model for them that young people can do this. Mm -hmm. It helps to have great parents that are backing you, which you do, and a good family, and it also helps to be you, yep. have the qualities you have, that you're, you are taking to this responsibility, you're taking it seriously. You know, you want to really make this thing work. Um, and as you pointed out, you want to be a leader in some ways, too. Who knows what you'll be leading in the future? But leadership is a good quality to develop. So is organization, like you said. You said all the big ones. I wanted to ask you, again, directed for all three of you to talk about, um, whenever there's something like this that's going on that is already starting to show signs of success very much, um, I want to ask for people who are watching that might be interested in trying something like this in their family, mm. what was maybe one of the most difficult things you faced trying to do this business, and what was the, one of the most rewarding things about trying to do this business? Mm. So the goods and the bads. Mm -hmm. You can uh, start if you, uh, if you so want. The most challenging thing yeah, what of was starting it? a business is really trying to trying to figure out how we would how we how we would plan everything mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, like or getting all the materials that we need to sell that we need to sell the project like a box mm -hmm. well, yeah. a box how to mm -hmm. package, package it package yeah package mm -hmm. yeah packaging trying to like get, get people into the get people into the into the it's into the folk knowing yeah, about the business get marketing them aware about it mm -hmm. marketing yeah. kind awareness of. yeah um, letting uh, people know about your product also huh? really like finding a way like when we actually when someone actually bought some something online try and find a way to get them into the system mm -hmm. uh huh mm -hmm. uh so that was difficult one of the easier things though once we really start, really started to get everything going, yeah, everything really became easy. You we had a system, kind right, of. We had a system, yeah, a working system. That's important. Earlier, before I had this, before now, I, uh, I was actually, I was actually doing a, uh, what was, I was actually doing like a, a indoor vending. Oh yeah, just now. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What was that like? What, what, what happened? Uh, so it was actually at More Than Words. Oh, really? At the bookstore? Okay. Yeah. I met a, a lot of different other vendors, and it actually helped me learn more. Oh, there were other people there that's also selling yes. their products? Yes. I see. Okay. And I learned a lot from those people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What, what did you see? What are some of the things you noticed? Uh... One thing I noticed was uh, one thing I noticed there was a lot of a lot of people there 
we're doing it to raise money for people who are unhoused and shelters. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. wonderful. Really good that, that, that they're doing that. It's all mission driven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of it was mission driven. Yeah. A lot of the businesses. And, and a lot of people who were doing it were actually doing it from what their friends' experiences are mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. thinking of what is challenging for them friends. I know one lady, she has a friend whose hands are sometimes too big for the cup mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they and it touches the cup. Mm -hmm. So she like made mug. yeah, for the mug so she made the handle longer mm -hmm. out. Mm -hmm. I see. So, uh, to just for that. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's it. And a little, can you add a little too from what you saw too? Yeah, yeah. Are, are you saying just in terms of um, some of our just the pros and cons, pros and cons yeah, from the yeah. business? Yeah. Um, definitely to piggyback off of what ISIS was saying, marketing was um, harder than we expected. Sure. I think we kind of grew up in this social media generation, so I think we anticipated it being a little bit easier than it was. But when you actually come from a business perspective, it's a lot more difficult. Uh huh. Um, so that, but then also. I think while we were trying to affirm others, I think us being affirmed was difficult as well mm. at that yeah. time. And so we would take them to certain brick and mortars and we would kind of naively expect that um, folks would be um, a little more engaging. Yes. You know, um, and they weren't, and, and that's okay. You know, that's okay, I think. Um, so you had that to change was kind your of expectations of what it was going to be like. Exactly, and we had to change our mindset on, on who um, needs this now and where we can go to kind of get this in the water, if you will. You know, um, I so think that that's a really, really good point. I think for so many people who try businesses, that you learn as you go along and you change some of your assumptions and you modify based on what right. what feedback you get. Right. Yep. Yeah, that, that's that's it. That's really interesting. Did you have any experiences where you saw somebody buy the pillow and get really excited? Yes. Oh, you Actually, did. Actually, earlier at vending. Mm -hmm. Here today. Yeah. Here today. That happened. I was, yeah, I was really excited. Yeah. I was also I was also excited to yeah. uh, to see the people. I I noticed one thing. Uh, I know that a lot of people like the the masculine pillow, mm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. that was interesting. But overall, I was I, I was really excited every time someone mm -hmm. came to get a pillow. Yeah, because I think it comes in waves. At first, yeah. it was the feminine pillow that was the big seller. Right. Um, but today, a lot of folks bought the masculine. That's version, interesting. Which so is it very changed. interesting. It changed. It changed. Hard today. to predict why mm -hmm. why it would be. Maybe just a function of who's there. I yeah, don't know. Yeah, could be. It could be. I was also. Uh, I was also really excited to see to see if someone would print a to see if someone would print a, a receipt. Oh yeah. Uh huh. On our um, uh, I think POS service. Yeah. Um, and she wanted somebody to. But people are shying away from receipts now. People just want a text message or email it to them. Yeah. Nobody wants the actual physical uh, physical receipt. I anymore, do. But. I would say that yeah. on the, the flip side, I think I was kind of in relation to what you were saying in terms of the challenges when we were first launching. I think on the flip side of that was that we got a really good response from friends and family. Yes, yes. Yeah. That really poured into the business and like bought um, bought the pillows and oh, they would like good. take photos of it and, and, and her like cousins would take pictures of the photos, I mean pictures of the pillows with them in the photo and I think that really encouraged us to keep going um, and I think that was really exciting just to see like the impact of that and how proud really folks were of ISIS being able to say that she's a CEO of, of a company right like that was really huge and just seeing all the other opportunities that you know had came from yeah. you know what we had been able to do in a short amount of time so while there were challenges there were definitely moments that were encouraging and yeah. that, um, really as a parent like I can't even explain the amount of like pride that I feel when I see like how excited she is about being able to 
have something like in her mind and then make it a physical manifestation and it be something that also others can sort of participate in. So, yeah. Isis, can you feel how proud your parents are of you for what you're doing? Yes. Does it feel good? Yes, it feels great. Ah, it's so nice to hear that. You know, another thought I have, a question is, um, what about future directions? You mentioned a couple things about books and different things. Do you have, a, you have any dreams about what you'd like to see happen? You know, other things you might pursue that are leadership, responsibility things, helping other people, and also some of your ideas. Uh, I think I would like to, uh, I think I would like to see like the pillows, like the crowns become 3D for people to actually wear. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's cool. And you said something about on the TV show. They said something about wanting to get raise enough money so you could donate some pills to community centers and stuff like that. Yeah. Is that one of the thoughts? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I really think that, uh, especially, I would like also like to donate some pillows to shelters. Uh-huh. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that, I think that kids out shelters, even though, we, even though they don't, they don't have any housing, doesn't mean that they don't deserve to feel safe or feel comfortable at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Beautiful sentiment, really. That's great. And, and anything you guys want to add about what you see for future? Yeah, I mean, honestly, we're on this ride with her. Yes, you <laughs> are, I yes. see. And um, I mean, I think I'd like to see like blankets along with the pillows. Oh yeah, and blankets, what do you I think know of that? My husband blankets. talked about like clothing. So, I mean, I, honestly, the sky is the limit. And so that's what we tell her, like, the limit. as long as she's still you know, motivated and interested and engaged in it. You know, we're here to support her and help her dreams come to fruition. Well, we're just about out of time, but for um, parents and young people that might be watching this show, um, I, I think that you're a very positive example as a family to encourage people. Would you want to encourage other kids to really try out things like you've tried out, to try businesses too? Little businesses like, as a beginning. Yeah, I think that people should definitely try. And I and if it gets difficult, don't get up. Maybe get some advice from someone else, or or try to uh, try to maybe look up what you should do, or just don't give up though. Because if you give up, up and keep at it, right? Because if you give up and actually find the way that you, and find what you are really missing, then you're gonna have to start all over again. Yeah. You're gonna have to go through the whole process. Keep yeah. at it. That's, that's the advice. And, and mom and dad, do you agree with her advice? Absolutely. I think resilience is extremely important. It's been going. I mean, you know, it can, you can easily get, <laughs> you know, distracted or discouraged. And so I think staying persistent is key. Huh? I need to go to yes. the bathroom. Yeah. Oh, sorry, give us one second, okay? Okay. Well, we're just about done. And um, I, I just, I want to say thank you to you guys because um, this is very inspiring. And I guess the thing I want to also comment on is it's, this is not only about business. This is about love. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of love in this family and a lot of support and a lot of really wanting wanting people to learn the kinds of things that ISIS is mature enough to talk about already, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And I think it's very exciting. I agree with you too. I'm very proud of you too for what you've done, ISIS. And I really appreciate you coming on the show. Thank you, all three of you, for being here. It's hot. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. What Thank a you. pleasure. <laughs> and and I hope I hope the audience has really found you know, some more inspiration from this wonderful family. And I hope also that you will tune in again soon for another sunny side of the street. So take care, everybody. And it was really good to be able to do this show together. Take care. Mm -hmm.